Hi everyone, my name is Sylvie Patrick and I want to talk about your move and your move accessory. So PowerPlate has made a power plate shield that is going to go under your power plate move between your power plate and the floor to be able to absorb some of the vibration. Okay. You also have the option of a power plate shield with the stability bar. So you've got the shield and you have a stability bar behind which allow you to have additional support. Okay. Today I received the stability bar that go directly on the power plate move and it's going to not require any power plate shield. So I'm going to unpack uh, that bar and, and film uh, how we're going to set it up on the power plate move. Stay tuned. All right, so first you need some room, okay? Because I'm going to place the box here and lay it down on the floor. And then you're gonna open that box. And the first thing that you're gonna be seeing is it's very well uh, packed. You're gonna have very thick, um, um, you know, uh, packaging here. And as you are opening this, you have your little manual here. And then what else do we have? We have that huge plate here that is very heavy. And this is the plate that is going to go attach to the power plate move. You can see that it has those little rubber feet underneath. So this is what's going to anchor that uh, power plate stability bar. What else do we have in there? I'm going to place that onto my power plate here, Pro 5. All right, we have also that. Don't lose it. This is your little pocket for your remote control. I'm continuing to unpack and you can see that it's very well packaged. So um, everything is, has phenomenal packaging, keeping everything stable. Ha, I've got that little accessory here that is going to be to place my phone, a uh, smartphone or tablet and be able to clip it to the bar. So you see, we're going to have to attach that to that stability bar. So that's a little accessory here that I'm putting here. And then here's the bar. You can actually see it has a very nice shape here, it's very similar to my Pro 5 here. And so this is going to be the bar that I'm going to attach to the column. And then I have here that stability bar, which is what those handles are going to be coming attached to. And then you have the base here that is going to come on the first, the first portion. So I'm placing everything out of the box. I've got some screw package with the screw right here. And you can see, look at this nice packaging. I mean, if you have room in your home, this is always a great idea to keep that packaging, but it is absolutely phenomenal what PowerPlate has done. It has a very nice, uh, area, very sturdy packaging here. So I'm going to place that aside and then we're going to start building up our stability bar on the move. All right. I have, uh, remove all the different items from the box. You can see here that I have that long, um, uh, that, that long, uh, stability bar here, here, the handle going on the stability bar. And then I have two different accessories. And then I have my little booklet here that show me everything that should be included into the package. So, and you're going to just follow along. The first thing that it's asking you to do is to turn your power plate upside down. So I'm going to use a little uh, mat here. And honestly, I'm using my Pro, Pro 5 mat here. If you have just a yoga mat or something like that, it's always good to do that. And I'm going to move this here and then look very, very easily. I'm grabbing on the side here, placing my power plate on its side. Here we go. You can also use 
the mat from the power plate and then look I'm turning my power plate on its on, 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 on its back right technically and you're gonna find here at the base you're gonna find four hole where we're gonna come and anchor that plate all right my power plate is set up on its back I can see here the four opening for the four screw that are gonna come secure the plate on my move the rubber feet are gonna be facing the ceiling so that's the correct way to place that plate and then I'm lining it up so the rubber foot that is on my move directly is going to fit into that hole, that opening on the plate. So lined up properly those four hole over the screw entry. And then technically I'm doing a step two here on my manual so it's very easy to follow along. I have my bag with the screw. There's actually two extra screw into that bag. And then there's two Allen wrench. This is the smaller Allen wrench here that I'm gonna use to secure those screw onto uh, the plate. All right, I have attached that plate that come underneath my power plate. And now it's time for me to attach that long stability bar to the base. So you're going to find four area, four screw that are going to fit nicely. I'm going to align the stability bar onto my anchor plate and you can see here that it's easy to know which way to place it because it has a natural curve. So it was cut to really fit nicely. And then I have prepared the four screw that are going to attach that stability bar onto that plate. And I just need to kind of set them up a little bit first to line up the plate to make sure that it's properly lined up. And then I'm going to tie it up with the Allen wrench. It's still the small Allen wrench here, the same one that I use for the, to attach the plate to the base. All right, I have secured the stability bar onto the base and the base on my power plate move. So you can see already it's attached very safely and I can now finish by placing the handlebar, the handlebar onto my stability bar here. Here's the tricky part. We're gonna tie up the handle to the stability bar and you can see here that the screw, the head of the screw has been pushed inside the rubber of that uh, handlebar. So you just need to press to really fit that screw um, inside the rubber. And then you're gonna choose the thicker Allen wrench to be able to tie up those screw because they are a little bit thicker than the one that were used to secure the plate and the stability bar. So just attach the bottom screw only. So you can see here, I have still a space between my stability bar and my handle bar. I still attach the bottom screw here to stabilize everything. I'm gonna slide here my uh, tablet and smartphone holder, lining up to the hole and then close it from here. So I tied up that last screw and I have now uh, my handlebar, my uh, smartphone or tablet handle, and then my stability bar, right? And I'm gonna finish with this nine, nice little rubbery cover cap, right? They're very pretty because they allow you to hide that hole. And then you just push in it into place. Then that's all you need to do. Just, here we go. Place it into place so it look very nice and finished. All right, the final touch to finish, uh, to place the stability bar on the move is that nice little pocket for the remote. So I really love that little accessory because most of my clients lose their remote. So this is a cute little pocket that has a Velcro right there. And you're gonna place it right in the center here and just Velcro it. And then I just have to place 
my remote into that little pocket. You can see here and appreciate a commercial model with that handlebar and then here that stability bar on my move looking very similar. Great accessory that I recommend for anyone that will need additional support using their move. The final product, I've got my move directly on the floor, I've got that plate where my stability bar anchored with the little rubber feet that are going to maintain good stability. This handlebar is phenomenal. That stability bar has great ergonomic and look at that, the space to put my smartphone, follow the class and uh, great accessory. Really love the final product.